Hi everyone, it's Keith here. Um, hi, thanks for joining us first of all on Facebook Live here today. Um, hey, listen, I want to say before I go any further, was that you're right in the you're classic. You're in you're right in the <laughs> shot. Gonna be in. <laughs> My team is in the shot. Go team. Um, Yes, hello, we're starting again. I'm on the two of us, it's CMT day. Before I go any further, I just want to say, I just found out when I got here, which is right now, what in time this is, two o'clock, CST. Uh, Blue Angel Color has been, has made it into the final seven, I think it is, for the video of the year list. So thank you very, very much everyone, because you guys are making this happen. For it to be in the final seven out of the gazillion videos that were done is mind blowing and you guys have made this happen so I'm sharing all this with all of you thank you very much that is awesome um, okay I'm gonna answer some questions before they drag me away to rehearsal firstly uh, Paula F hi Paula Paula asks what made you to decide to shoot the video for Blue Angel Color in black and white um, it was a combination of a few things um, part of it started from what we wanted to wear which was straight suit and tie classic black and white suit and tie and more just just that more rat pack kind of era style and so the black and white was a no-brainer with that um, also I, I like it because it, it makes it more film film noir uh, and a bit more dreamlike I think for me at least anyway a bit more classic and uh, Carter Smith, who shot the video, is a phenomenal director. He's actually a phenomenal photographer as well. So I'm sending a shout out to you, Carter, if you're watching. I'm watching, but I'm sending a shout out anyway. Um, Carter wanted to do it in black and white, so it was one of those things where we wanted to do it, and he suggested it, and it was kismet meant to be, and I'm so glad we did it. One thing I want to say about that video too is um, my favorite part of the video is at the end with Amber Valletta dancing to us on her own, spinning around, the room's empty, and the last spin she makes, if you haven't picked it up, she looks at the stage and there's nobody there, and you wonder if the entire thing has been a dream. Mind blown. I just love that bit. Anyway, Joe K. Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe asks, how do you pick what direction to take mus music videos in? That's a good question. Uh, is it you and the director together, or do you pick the director based on the direction you want? <laughs> You get a point for every time you use the word director or direction in one sentence, Joe. It is, um, it's a combination. It's always a collaboration. I think it's a lot, I mean, for me, it's its all art, you know, it's all artistic expression. And um, whether it's writing a song, whether it's making a record in the studio, I love collaborating, you know, because I might have a particular idea, but sometimes you bring in a director who has a way to take that idea further or to come with something completely different that I would never would have thought of and sometimes that's much better you know um, so for me as an artist it's always staying open to the balance between not losing my my focus and my direction but not being blocked off to ideas that can come in to take it further or be just way better than my idea which happens a lot of this stuff. Um, but I love working for great directors, obviously, great creative people. Um, John Urbano, who did uh, the video for Fighter, we've done four videos together, and I love working with him for that reason. Heather H. wants to know, hi Heather, Heather wants to know, what is your favorite thing about going to, <laughs> going to an award show? Um, it's date night. Date night's always fun. Uh, I, I tell you the thing I love, I love the interaction with all the audience and the fans and I love that, you know, because that I'm, I'm pointing because they're outside the bus right now and I was, I'm late today because I was meeting them all and saying hi and everything. Um, and that's a great part about coming to the award show. Everybody's lined up outside and you can go and see them. I hate when they rush us away from you guys and we've got to get inside, blah, blah, blah. So I love it when we come over and try and get to as many people as we humanly can before they pull us away. Um, but I also like catching up with all the other artists too, because a lot of them, we're just, we're ships in the night, you know, we're touring at the same time, we're just crisscrossing paths. When we have a night off and we want to do something together, everyone's like, it's our only night off, we just want to stay home, you know? So I catch up with a lot of my friends uh, at 
award shows, strangely enough. Aaron E says, can't wait to see the performance of The Fighter tonight. Can you give us any hints on why it's going to be extra amazing? No pressure. <laughs> um, well, because I'm doing it with Carrie, and Carrie's awesome. We're, I tell you what, we do... Um, I, I started doing a ballad version of The Fighter. I did it one time somewhere just to sort of present the song differently. And um, a lot of people really, really liked it. And Carrie heard about it and she said, maybe we should do that as a ballad tonight. Uh, but a lot of people don't know the song at all yet. And so we're, what we're gonna do is blend several approaches to the song. You just have to watch and see. There you go. Um, thank you, Aaron. Cindy W, hi Cindy. Cindy says, how did the concept of having street dancing come into play for the fight? A great question. So this is from John Urbano, who um, saw Lindsay uh, in a video where she was dancing, and she was just really captivating. And he had footage of her dancing, and he turned down the volume of whatever she was dancing to, and he played the fighter on the top of it. He sent it to me, and I loved it. It was immediate. Um, I loved that, you know, dance can be such a, an interpretive um, experience of the story, the emotion, everything to do with music and art. So to see the song presented in story form through dance was very, very, um, I was very excited about that. And so then um, it was just finding time and a place where we could all get together and shoot that video and have, uh, have her do it. And, and she just danced, she did her own thing. And Lyle, who's also the other guy in the pure dancer video, because Lindsay and Lyle, I see them both, they're also real boyfriend and girlfriend, which is super cool. For me, when you watch that video and you see their interaction as a couple and you know it's real, that's the best. It's the best. So um, I'm, glad, I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, Roxanne M. Hi, Roxanne. Roxanne! Does everybody do that when they meet you? Yeah. Um, will you ever see... Will we ever see you dance to the... <laughs> will you ever see me dance to the fighter? Let me think about that. No? No. I don't dance. Find me a guitarist who dances. Uh, Paisley doesn't dance. Ben Skill doesn't dance. Uh, Chris Stapleton, I'm pretty sure he doesn't dance. You know, Josh Osborne, he doesn't dance. John Osborne, I'm sorry. I was thinking about my songwriter buddy, Josh. John Osborne doesn't dance either. Uh, I just don't think guitar players dance. So, I'm about to be flooded by guitarists who dance in the next Facebook live chat, right? Uh, do you still get nervous before performing? Oh, this is from Karina. Karina G. She asked, do you still get nervous <laughs> before performing at award shows? Yes, yeah. I get nervous, a little bit nervous before performing on TV because so many things can go wrong, you know? Like, when I have more time, I will tell you about the time my guitar amp kept blowing up right before we were to perform on an award show one night and I was playing live and I had to have a guitar amp and it kept blowing up. We blew up three amps in the space of about a minute 30 and I'll tell you how, how that, what that was like. It's terrifying and we ended up not playing. They moved on to another act because we had no amp. So stuff can go wrong and it can be a little nerve-wracking. But um, I'm super excited about tonight, really looking forward to playing. That's the last question on the list they're gonna drag me away. But guys, thank you so much for, I love doing these. I wish I could see your faces. I see some of them coming up next to your names. Um, but I love doing this, I really do. And let's do more of them. Thank you very much for uh, the Blue Inch Color, make it into the final seven. Kick, kick ass. And um, that's it, I gotta go to rehearsals. I love you, if I can figure out how to switch this off. I will do so. And we'll see you guys soon. Okay.